welcome, welcome to the experience. Something you can't define, but you can only experience this through me. As within, so without. Speaking of which, you know, why did the 12 disciples of Yeshua, the God, or the uh, 12 faculties within his uh, state of memory follow the law of one into oneness? Some things come to mind when I think about it. But maybe it's because it's a mere representation of that circle of the sun, Ra, the 12 pieces of that uh, pie, which leads to wholeness in the heart of the sky. Now, when you look at the 12 zodiacs, they all merge into a unity of one at the uh, zero point. One and the zero. The beginning of nothingness. The all and nothing of Resh, the sun, is the symbol of nine, the head and the neck of the uh, infinite mind, leading back to the ninth dimension. Now the gods and the disciples were part of the sun and also part of Ra, it's one. They were rays of light within a spectrum, 30 degrees of each zodiac house assigned to 12, which breaks down to that cycle of the wheel of 360. Going back to what Tesla's three, six, and nine. Three plus six equals nine. The Trinity dimensional link of uh, matter and creation, raw energy. It's actually found within the third dimension, where it's encoded by the sixth dimension whom expresses the ideas of God of the ninth dimension just as uh, Yeshua is the son of God as well as the son of God the light in Yeshua's uh, temple represents the authentic form as the son of source from uh, which it came from <laughs> this is the own the sign which is all the vibrations of the universe and of the one God that exists within. But there's a spiritual extension or extension of those uh, 12 uh, states of consciousness or those 12 faculties of uh, the state of consciousness or the 12 disciples, the 12 disciplines, the 12 zodiacs that states that you will never arrive until the life itself has been put in order. And this is even when you fully understand the mystic formula of peace, power, love, and soundness through the connection of oneness. See, when you look at the word Christ, it derives from Christos, meaning man. Therefore, Christ is the energetic study of man and one's uh, relationship with himself. So in order to gain access to that light, you have to unblock your dark side. You know, the traumatic states, the uh, injury in between the intuition and the instinct. Your instinct is actually found in the emotion. Your intuition is actually found in your state of consciousness. Connecting those two together ushers you into the light of knowledge. 
and of the 12 pillars of the, uh, you know, decoding of that light of knowledge. See, the light at the end of the tunnel comes when you know how to open the door to your brain. Although the matrix is the lock, your mind is the key. And that key is logic and intuition, your left and right hemisphere. And when they meet, they uh, have a way of unblocking certain specks in your mind that will cause you to transcend into a much more clear path, seeing the truth within the third eye, as well as the crescent moon. The Son of Ra, the Son of God. The Moon. Allah. The sun and Moon. The Moon, symbolic to the emotional state. It's balanced by the, you know, intuitive enlightenment of yourself. That's within, you know, our um, auric field. Just as, you know, Jesus or Shu is the soul of the sun, is also the center of us, the soul central to all the orbits within the solar system that we must uh, balance to calm the storm inside of ourselves just as he did when he was on the boat. Peter. It's one of the faculties. What did Peter do while on the boat? You know, as uh, Christ was uh, calm and rest asleep, and then when he woke up, within himself, he spoke to the wind and the waves and the water as though he had authority because he put the standard to it. Greater is he that is in me than there is of the world. Blessings and peace.